you tell me a story? Sure, honey. What would you like to hear? How about a nice story about Christmas? Twas the night before Christmas? Yay, my favorite! Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. What'd you see? What'd you see? Settle down, settle down. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Hey, you, you Santa. <laughs> now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. Wow, and then what? Oh, we're just halfway through the story. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. He has all the presents. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. And just like that, he was gone in a flash, right? Hold your horses. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. as he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. Wow, Daddy, that was a great story. Oh, glad you liked it. I want another one. No, no, it's time to go to bed now. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Daddy.